Hey, what's going on guys? This is Eric uh, with EM Motors and uh, Launch Vans. Just uh, coming up to the top of 8th Street here, uh, up from Boise. Give another van a shakedown. Do a quick little walk around for you guys so you can see the latest uh, custom build that's coming out of the shop. Pebbles, the customer named it. Um, hear the coyotes in the background. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but uh, but yeah, so this thing is a uh, 2021 170 regular length four-wheel drive. Uh, started as a crew van, <clears throat> and uh, we kind of took it from there, stripped it down. These uh, This color is stone gray, one of my favorites. Can you give me a good look at this. Um, and so, we have, so on, on this side, we pop the window out, uh, the crew window, which is a solid glass piece in the rear, or sorry, the front left, and replaced it with a T-Vent Sierra Lawrence window. Also added a T-Vent uh, Sierra Lawrence window in the rear quarter panels uh, on this one. This fan is about as loaded as you can get with LED, uh, the package, the headlights, the tail lights. Um, it has uh, the 10 inch touch screen, the high, high uh, line display on the dash. Super, super nice power sliding door, all that good stuff. Heated power memory seats. We added some swivel brackets, which I'll show you, but this thing, uh, this thing is sweet for Mercedes, but uh, um, so what we have here uh, on the roof, we have Flatline's uh, Low Pro Roof Rack. Uh, we have, uh, let's see here, a couple of 90 and 100 watts, so 280 watts of solar up top. Yeah, 280. We have Nomadics uh, 3000 uh, 12 volt air conditioning, two Max Air Fan 7500 uh, Deluxes on the top there. So this thing's gonna be able to have some awesome ventilation and uh, keep you cool in the summertime. Um, has the Method wheels and BF Goodrich KO2 tires. Give you a closer look at those. And we did Falcon uh, stage 4.3 suspension package from Van Compass. It's fully adjustable on all four corners of the vehicle. Uh, you can adjust the suspension soft or hard uh, depending on the terrain. Of course I it's a little uh, actually came up the washboard road here uh, up to this location. It was pretty smooth. They must have graded it out but uh, had it in soft mode and then you can also air down which helps quite a bit. At this side here so uh, the customers really wanted a lot of windows so they can really enjoy the scenery from uh, from bed if they want to or inside anywhere in the van as you'll be able to see got some uh, Baja design lights up top and the side lights under the awning it's got a Fiamma F80S awning up there Got our water fill here from the outside for your fresh water. This has 30 gallons of fresh water. Has the ISO temp uh, electric hot water heater. We really have been super happy with that. Haven't had any issues. And uh, it's the four gallon slim. So uh, typical, uh, I think everybody loves this uh, position for the uh, this side of the galley, you have the isotherm 130 drawer. So you can slide it open from inside or outside. Has a, a good size freezer for your ice cream and goodies. Lots of room, wine bottle holders here. Lots of room for, uh, for those longer uh, off grid or road trips. Drop down uh, table that was milled down from butcher block. Just an all-natural uh, butcher block with the with the uh, finish on it. Outlet, of course, 
so you can plug and plunk the plug things in uh, here whether it's coffee maker cooking outside with an induction or whatever your heart desires uh, they added the shower ports so we have a mixer valve and uh, your hose Let me pull that out for you show you so you can pull that out rinse the rinse their pups off um, rinse your gear off rinse your feet off whatever you'd like before you get into the van set that down there um, so super cool I think that's again the most popular layout is with the galley here um, this was a crew van so it, they don't uh, offer you factory swivel seats from Mercedes-Benz so it has the higher seat base but we did go with the highest end uh, uh, swivels as you can see barely adds any height uh, and they're super solid so it got uh, aftermarket swivels we have a lagoon table mount with a uh, milled down butcher block table so that can reach uh, at least three of you um, inside there what else we got here the heater kick on here wipe my feet off um, Give you a good look here. Uh, this is Flatline Van Company's overhead shelf. We have a nice little light up top here so you can see your stuff. <clears throat> have a uh, element fire extinguisher. Comes on all our builds. We have some light switches for the exterior uh, lights and then the inside lights with a dimmer. And then also you can uh, Turn your lights off from bed back there. Um, if you forget to turn them off up front here. And then another light on a dimmer underneath the cabinet. Give a little working light. So yeah, fully loaded, 10 inch touchscreen, power sliding, door heated windshield, the Highline display, Distronic cruise control, power heated memory seats, super loaded from Mercedes. Uh, they have the uh, screen bug screens in the front and back so you can deploy those uh, when it's buggy or you can zip that all the way out and remove this portion as you can see you can zip them out but that's magnetic uh, in and out um, yeah here's the butcher block so in the butcher block it's thicker so you can mill down that stove and do a, a counter or a piece over the stove in the sink so you still have tons of workspace and then we did a, a double burner induction that's super sweet Ravati uh, sink here we'll pull out faucet hot and cold water of course and then yeah the lagoon mount here you can kind of stow it uh, I can move it with one hand kind of stow it and have uh, some extra countertop space uh, for prepping things when you're cooking super nice little extra cabinet for goodies here and then your electronics uh, cabinet s-bar diesel heater uh, the controller have your inverter on and off and then your uh, color control here monitor solar um, AC loads there what your battery percentage is. If you're plugged into shore power, you can see your uh, how much uh, power you're coming in. Uh, Nomadic AC, they're a little remote for their air conditioning. And then uh, just your 110 breakers for your water heater and your outlets in the van. So super sweet there. Um, let's see here, we got some switches. We have the gray tank underneath so you can electronically drain the gray tank uh, garage lights on and off and then your water pump and then I love this for your uh, soap and stuff and your scrubbers and then just a bunch of drawers here no toilet in this one lots of drawer space uh, S bar s2 air heater in the bottom there outlets everywhere 12 volt 110 um, so you can plug in and charge your stuff. My medic uh, first aid kit, the Pro. We have uh, Adventure Wagon mule bags. They chose uh, three 
soft mule bags across the whole side on this side. Uh, we usually do at least one in the rear and then hard cabinets up here, but they chose uh, all three to be the stuff bags. And then, uh, of course, you can move them wherever you'd like, but we left a little space here. You can hang stuff, um, jackets or whatever, if you wanted to hang them there off of a hook. Uh, let's see here. We got a... Uh, guard here so people can't reach their hand in and open your doors as easily so we have a nice bench here uh, that's super cool it's got this carbon fiber stitching and then it folds in uh, to like a bed for their dogs so dogs can have a, a chill spot and then it does lift up whoops one hand in here it does lift up so you have tons of storage underneath. Have a couple of lap seat belts if, if uh, they want as well. So super easy to, to uh, deploy that. A um, couple of Max Airfan 7500s. So you can create some really good ventilation uh, through the van. And then you can of course open up any of the windows to, to create a nice airflow. But these Max fans, if you have everything shut, you can uh, have one push air in and pull air out on the other fan so you can create a nice airflow through the van. So, um, what else? Uh, they wanted their bed to be just under the window line here so they're not worried about storing bikes underneath the, the garage area but still tons of garage room. L track everywhere. We like using these $15 a piece arrowheads <laughs> just finishes the van off super nice and then I like the end pieces that are black on the floor for the flush mount but you can stick L track accessories all over the place you can move the soft bags over here or add more more cabinetry over here if they wanted hooks hooking hats jackets packs things like that and then, yeah, these stuff bags, we love them. P pockets for days uh, everywhere. Easy on the head if you bonk. But yeah, lots of room there. Um, little bit of space here, but you can still access your batteries by popping your beds off. And I'll unscrew this and show you the electrical, but we have your uh, we have 630 amp hours of lithium batteries, uh, Victron Energy Multi Plus 3000, it's a 2400 watt inverter, and then the Serbo and all the other cool stuff. We have a nation's second alternator dedicated to charging the uh, batteries, um, and uh, so we love that. Water. We have a 30 gallon water tank in here, and, the, and it also houses the the water heater, the four gallon slim in the rear. Um, and then you have your garage lights on both sides, but a little water level indicator there. Super easy, you can just look down and see what your level is. Um, yeah, Got, uh, <laughs> nice blanket. <laughs> but yeah, look at the views here. I mean, if you're in bed, you just got tons of views everywhere. Got Explorer Outfitter shades for all the windows. Look at the, look at all the view. These windows. So no matter where you're sitting, you get a great, great picture and view. Uh, let's go to the garage area. Factory hitch here with their little step. I like adding a, a, a step that goes across the, the whole thing because when you're making your bed and things, you want to be able to step over here. Um, customer chose, uh, so this is Lawn Seal, Lawn Ridge. Uh, I forgot the, I think it's Moon Dust, I think. Super, I love this pattern. Um, give you a little close up. It's got some speckles in it. Looks really good. And then they chose uh, Psy Leather. Uh, I forgot what which, which side leather this is uh, But that stuff is super nice. It's gonna be easy to clean with the pets uh, Dog hair stuff like that. But yeah stuff bags. They wanted to keep the windows. So uh, no stuff bags there But we have Explorer Outfitter shades 
Bam. So what do we got? We have the shower port here, short power plug. Um, yeah, outlets here for the, you uh, so you can drain your fresh tank. Uh, water pump as well in case you forget to turn it on or off from the front you don't have to go all the way back there and then your outlets or sorry uh, switches for your lights on the rear um, but yeah same thing mixer valve shower port and then I love this hose um, so you can just plug it in here let's do this one handed here up that pressurizes and then you have a lot of different adjustments uh, which is cool but yeah rinse some gear off bikes feet shower um, so super nice there and then yeah the electrical there, not much room up top. You can still sneak some stuff up top there. Well, lots of L-Track um, so that you can tie all your gear down wherever it may be. You could always add a slide-out tray if you ever wanted and tie it into the L-Track. Yeah, the L-Track in the floor. There's the other screen for the rear. Tons of lights on a dimmer so you can really get some great lighting in and then um, yeah, that under cab lighting is super nice at night. Um, gosh, what else is there? I think that's about it. The electrical system, water system, windows, no ladder. Um, they're not going to get up top. There's really no reason to get up top. Uh, very rare. You have to clean the solar panels off. They work really good, even if they're dusty. I've done a little test where they were dusty and then cleaned them and didn't really change much, so not too worried about that. But, but yeah, we, we were still able to get 280 watts up on the solar, or sorry, up on the roof of solar uh, with the two fans and the uh, nomadic air conditioning, so super cool. Gosh, it's beautiful right now. Van handled awesome. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I covered everything. Look at this laminate co color. Let's see if you can get a good look at it. Really dig this new color here that we're using. Um, I think that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the van. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, this customer didn't do uh, too much uh, exterior gear, kept it pretty nice and clean on the outside, other than the awning and the roof rack. Um, let me know your thoughts on what you would do. We do a lot of these CA tuned off-road bumpers with lights, a lot of tire carrier and box stuff on the rear doors. This is nice and clean, it doesn't add any length, uh, which is gonna be nice for them. Um, but you could always add that stuff after if you decide you need more more space or we did do a matching spare uh, tire and mounted it in the factory location um, with some brackets but yeah it turned out awesome love the colors uh we're, we're we started our uh company van and it's going to be the pretty much the same color and van 170 stone gray but i'll have uh, a ton of exterior gear on there so hopefully we get that thing going but customers are priority so my van's on the back burner plus I already have a van that I get out with and get to enjoy but uh, yeah uh, shoot your comments in the uh, down below uh, if you're looking for a build let us know you can reach out to us on our website launchvans.com if you uh, need a chassis or looking for maybe a used van empty or built. We get a lot of used stuff in uh, at the dealership, emmotorsboise.com for that website. And then check out our other videos on YouTube under EM Motors Boise. Um, and you can kind of get some good ideas of what we've done in the past, different colors, different layouts, 
And uh, yeah, some good information to kind of help you in your build uh, or get ready for your build if you, if you guys uh, want one or two or three. So uh, anyway, appreciate you guys taking a look. Give you one last look here. But yeah, let us know if we can help anyway. Reach out. We do a lifetime warranty on all our builds for the original owner. Uh, and then you always get shop priority. We drop everything if you have an issue. Um, and also if you're, a lot of our customers are out of state, uh, we'll work with other, other van builders to rectify any issues that may arise. But hopefully you never have any issues. That's the goal. That's what I'm doing here is just doing some thorough testing, trying to get miles on the van. Um, just to make sure I can't get it to to do anything uh, so that the customer can just enjoy it when they get it. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for ranting on, rambling on. Have a good one, guys. Take care.